Lake Champlain is an extraordinary natural resource nestled between New York, Vermont, and Quebec. But the lake and its tributaries are being negatively affected by human activities on the land. Lake Champlain Sea Grant works to develop and share science-based information to improve the environment and economy of the Lake Champlain Basin. Numerous fisheries occur in the lake. Simply defined, a fishery is an interaction of a population of fish, be it trout or pike or whatever, and those who enjoy fishing or profit from fishing. The lake's bass fishery is highly ranked by several tournament organizations. The Adirondack Coast Visitors Bureau and the city of Plattsburgh have uh, capitalized on this fishery by uh, hosting several live release uh, bass tournaments each summer for several years now. Bass tournaments are important to the vibrant travel and tourism economy of the Lake Champlain Basin. These large-scale tournaments, including events by FLW and Bassmaster, represent a locally important revenue stream. Input-output economic models that factor in the impacts to, on local employment patterns show that this tournament activity is worth upwards of $2 million alone to, just to the Clinton County economy. While the economic value of bass tournaments is appreciated, some critics have raised legitimate concerns about fish kills, concentration of bass at weigh-in sites, and other issues. The New York State Department of Environmental Conservation sought partners to answer questions about potential negative impacts of bass tournaments on dispersal of live fish, as well as impacts of inadvertent fish mortality. Our research, along with previous studies in other lake systems, show that the tournament activity is very sustainable and therefore it's capable of supporting an uh, important tourism industry here in the Lake Champlain Basin. Researchers assessed fish stress and dispersal patterns at nine tournaments in 2011 and 2012 by studying fish at weigh-in events. Then they developed a list of signs or symptoms that indicated when fish were under stress. Bloody fin rays, for example, were associated with long trips in a live well, and the longer they were held, the more likely they were to become stressed. Biologists have also confirmed that bass mortality associated with these tournaments is usually pretty low with average immediate mortality below 5%. Higher percentage mortality events have been noted, typically involving smallmouth bass subjected to large temperature swings. We also collected and summarized data on dispersal patterns using radio telemetry methods. We found the fish did return to preferred habitats, but Almost no fish return to the sites where they originally caught. They do leave Cumberland Bay after a period of time, typically a couple of weeks, but maybe even a couple of months before they uh, left the area of where they were released. Researchers also noted the tendency of th these fish to move north uh, following release. No fish were found south of the Osable River in New York or the Winooski River in Vermont. Research confirms that the bass tournament fishery is biologically sustainable and can support an economically important tourism industry in the Lake Champlain Basin. This field work is a good example of the applied research typically conducted or funded by Sea Grant. Our mission is to bring research to bear on a lake problem, summarize those research results, and then communicate them in the form of outreach materials to stakeholders in the basin. One of the tangible uh, results of this work was the development of a conservation plan that was signed by the Adirondack Coast Visitors Bureau in the city of Plattsburgh. It calls on the two organizations to monitor tournament results to ensure that the fishery doesn't decline in quality. An important output of this work was the development of a Sea Grant fact sheet for tournament organizers and anglers. It shows them how to enhance dispersal and minimize stress and mortality during tournament events. Reducing fish stress and mortality are two key steps to ensure the sustainability of these fishing tournaments in Plattsburgh. Gotcha. Lake Champlain is a natural treasure. We all have a part to play in protecting it and the waters that drain to it, now and into the future. Lake Champlain Sea Grant encourages you to both enjoy and protect the fantastic fisheries in our backyard.
This video was produced by Lake Champlain Sea Grant, a partnership among the University of Vermont, SUNY Plattsburgh, and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. To learn more about Lake Champlain Sea Grant and to see other videos in this series, please visit our website.